All right, so today's video, I have one of the most anticipated sneakers of the year, at least just for myself. This is the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2, and this is a follow-up to the Nike Pegasus 35 Turbo from last year. That is one of my favorite shoes from Nike of all time. From a casual perspective, this is a casual channel, so if you're looking for a running video, there's a lot of other good channels out there, so go check out those channels. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on these shoes right here, but I also wanted to compare them to the Pegasus 35 Turbo, as well as the Pegasus 35, and the Pegasus 36, because I'm kind of confused with the naming convention of these shoes. So, let's go ahead and get in the video. What's going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. If you guys want to buy the Pegasus Turbo 2 or some of the other shoes out here, check the link in the description as well. In this video though, I want to give you guys a look at the Pegasus Turbo 2 and um, some of the things that I really like about the shoes, some of the things that I think they could have done better. But um, ultimately, I just want to give you guys my thoughts. And if you guys have a difference in opinion, which is bound to happen, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let everybody else know uh, what you think. So this shoe is an updated version of the Pegasus Turbo. And a couple things that they mention on Nike's website that it's a sleeker look. It is updated with a feather light upper. The lofted mesh and synthetic upper is lighter than the predecessor and the translucent material makes it breathable as it feels. Although it doesn't really look that translucent, it has two layers to the upper though. So as you can see the upper is just one piece. It has a giant exaggerated swoosh right here that actually extends into the midsole and it is painted on. And for the laces they definitely changed up the style a little bit. Uh, Hyperfuse material here for the reinforcement, but there's two lace holes on each set and then it goes all the way up to the top. The tongue is actually interesting. It's actually a neoprene like stretch material, which is something that I didn't really realize at first, but it is actually really stretchy. As you work your way in the inside of the shoe, you can see that there's a bunch of different design elements to the shoe and then there's a little Nike swoosh on the back here. And on the back of the shoe, there's more hyperfuse material and it says running with the Nike swoosh on one. And then they have 88888. I think that's just representing for time or whatever for when you're running. The heel cup of the shoe right here does have reinforcement. It is really, really hard underneath here, but there's nothing on the outside that actually shows the reinforcement. So the upper is pretty simple looking in general. It doesn't look that attractive to be honest, uh, in my opinion, just because it's so simplistic and I like complex layers and stuff. But for runners, I'm sure they want a minimal look and feel more importantly, but as long as that doesn't jeopardize their comfort of the shoe, and I think that in this case, it delivers quite well. It looks like it would be a little bit uncomfortable around the collar of the shoe, which they changed again quite a bit. It's just kind of a stitching around. And then also on the tongue, they changed that quite a bit also from the first one. It's very, very thin and flimsy. And then there's a little bit of reinforcement back on the inside of the shoe. So not a ton of cushioning on the inside. And if you like that extra cushioning from the Pegasus One, they definitely minimalized it a ton on this one. So I need to wear these a lot more to see if it impacts the feel from the first one, but again, it is a lot more minimal than the first one. So one of the things that I wanted to look at is a comparison between the 35, 35 Turbo, 36, and then the Pegasus Turbo 2. So they changed the naming convention. This was actually called the Pegasus 35 Turbo, and then this one is actually just the Pegasus Turbo 2. So they removed the 35 from this one, and they also didn't call it the 36. And truth be told, it doesn't really look like the 36. Like, there is one element that they brought over, which is the tongue. But obviously the collar of the shoe and the back tab are completely different on the Pegasus Turbo 2 versus the Pegasus 36. So I think that's why they went away with it. And honestly, it didn't really make any sense. When they called this the 35 Turbo, I, it just didn't really work for me either because it looked like the 35 for the most part, same back section in a sense. Obviously the design in the back was different. And then the tongue shape was totally different as well. The padding was pretty much similar and the lockdown was somewhat similar, but more reinforcement on the actual Pegasus 35s than the 35 turbos, as you can see with the flywire. And then the material on the upper was completely different. And you have the oversized swoosh on the 35 turbo and the other one did not have that. Um, so I don't know, they should have just actually called this the Pegasus uh, turbo. They shouldn't have called it the 35 in my opinion. And then it wouldn't have been as confusing when they released the next one. Sometimes I don't think that Nike really thinks long-term 
when it comes to naming convention and how confusing it is to the consumer market, at least for the mass consumers out there like myself. But maybe for everybody else, it's not a big deal. Leave a comment and let me know how you feel. But speaking of confusing though, this actually says Nike Zoom X on it, but you can see the white section down here is actually Nike React. The top section here in the lime color is actually the Zoom X. So for those that didn't know, they have a dual density foam system on the Pegasus Turbo, and it has the Zoom X on top, the React on the bottom, and the combination between the two is ridiculously good on feet. The downside from the very first pair was the Widow's Peak back here had a lot of problems. There was a lot of separation uh, between the pair. And unfortunately, that's something we're gonna see going into the next pair no matter what. So you can see obviously the midsole looks very, very similar. And then the outsole traction pattern looks exactly the same as well. But I will say one thing that they did change that it took me a minute to realize until I actually had these both hand in hand Look at the width of the shoe. The Pegasus Turbo 1 is actually wider in the back section than the Pegasus Turbo 2. Somebody like myself, I definitely prefer the Pegasus 1 because I like the wider feel on feet. I, I will say I don't notice it a ton on feet uh, in the back section of the shoe and the, the front of the section is wide enough for my foot that I'm happy there, but I don't like that they took the width away from the shoe. The other thing that I found kind of interesting is if you look at the back of the Widow's Peak, it looks like the Pegasus Turbo 1 actually goes up more versus the Pegasus Turbo 2. And I don't know necessarily why, but it definitely arcs up higher on uh, the first pair than the second one. So it looks exactly the same, minus those two small differences, I guess, which I found kind of interesting. Now, one thing that I have to say that I didn't like about the shoe at very first glance, I put these on and I noticed the tongue was completely detached and that was a super bummer. But not just at the top, it's actually detached the whole way down the shoe. I'm sure you guys can relate to this, but when you put some of these flimsy tongues on, they get warped and like folded over. You get that little burrito effect going on there for the tongue, super annoying. And it was kind of a bummer to see that these weren't stitched down to like right here at least, which if you look at the Pegasus 36, they did that. They stitched it to here and it's a little stretch material here. So it actually holds the tongue in position, which I thought was a really smart move. I like the Pegasus Turbo One because it passed the like no hands test. As in, I could literally just grab the tongue, throw these on my feet, and then just be out the door. And that wasn't the case on the Pegasus Turbo 2 at first glance, but I will say, I did find something that I found pretty interesting. And what you could see here is you can actually take the lace and go through the tongue to hold the position of the tongue. So when I did that, I was like, oh, this isn't actually that bad. It actually does hold somewhat of the shape in the position that you would want on the tongue. So in a sense, you use the laces and there's actually two different holes down here on the tongue that you could poke the lace through and actually use to have the tongue stay in place. So for those that have the same problem as myself, go ahead and do this lacing. It makes a world of difference to push it through the tongue and then wrap it back through and then have the regular lacing. And then after that, I was like, okay, it's forgivable. Whatever they did to the tongue is forgivable because it feels good, it's soft, it's neoprene, it's light. Um, and I can actually put it on pretty easily now with the adjustment. So I wanted to point that out for those people that um, have that problem. But other than that, like this shoe is incredible. It's still amazing on feet. It's so soft and comfortable. And the crazy thing is I tried these on immediately after I did my video review of the Air Max 270 React, which if you haven't seen, check my channel. But spoiler alert, like I tried those ones on, put these on, and then I instantly sold my 270 Reacts. So I was like, there's no point in even keeping those shoes because this one, was so much better for new shoes from Nike, 30 bucks extra for these versus 150 from the others. These ones are 180, highly recommended in my opinion from a casual perspective. For runners out there, you guys can leave comments for people if you think they're good or not, but $180, well worth it in my mind. But I will tell you if you only have $100 or even 120, there's a lot of different colorways of the Pegasus Turbo One that are out there and I highly recommend this shoe. I have four pairs of this shoe, absolutely love it. Favorite shoe of 2018. One of my favorite shoes in 2019 thus far as well. And now that we have the next version, this one is definitely a competitor to this one. But for the price point, if price is an issue, definitely get this shoe for 100, 120 bucks. Well worth it. And one thing I kind of miss, even though it was a little bit polarizing, was that giant strip down the middle of the turbos. They did away with that on the uh, Turbo 2s, which is kind of a bummer. I'm going to miss that design element, but I do like the overall upper of the Pegasus. Uh, Turbo 2 better than the original. The collar stuff didn't bother me on the Pegasus 1. Personally, I prefer the tongue of the Pegasus 1. I like the extra cushioning 
uh, on the shoe for myself. But again, I'm the casual lifestyle dude. That kind of wraps up my thoughts on the Pegasus Turbo 2. What do you guys think about the new model? Are you guys waiting for other colorways? Do you guys not like the pattern? I know that this colorway is really bright, but once I put them on feet, I was like totally sold. It reminded me of that feeling of putting on my very first pair of Prestos back in the day. It was just such a great feeling to get a really comfortable shoe that kind of stood out from the crowd um, and is just an all around great engineered shoe, which is what you have with this Pegasus Turbo 2. But that's my thoughts on the shoe. Leave some comments, what do you guys think? And if you guys are new to the channel, I do a lot of sneaker reviews like these and you can go ahead and subscribe, it's free to do. And hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified of when the videos go live. But thank you again for watching. Have a great rest of the day. We will see you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace guys.